Hello all. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see one more interview question asked in Amazon uh, data engineering position. So this is an interesting problem which I'll try to solve in two methods. So the question is on the left hand side you see the question. So you have three columns called student name, total marks and year. So student name and uh, there are three, three years here. Uh, 2010, 2011, and 2012. So for each student, you have um, for each year there are total marks. So Mohan here in this case has uh, in 2010 he has 70 marks. He has scored 70 marks. In 2011 he has scored 65, and in 2012 he has scored 90. And similarly Rahul, in 2010 he has scored 90, 2011 he has scored 90, and 2012 he has scored 80. Similarly Sanjay, in 2010 he has scored 80. In 2011, he has scored 85 and 2012, he has scored 80. So the question here is, we need to report <clears throat> the total marks or the student name and the year. So suppose uh, if the current year marks is greater than or equal to the previous year marks. So, so this is the question. Report students whose current year marks are greater than or equal to previous year total marks. So let's go back to SQL Server Studio and try to understand how to fix this or how to find the solution so I have already created the table called student details and I have created the columns and inserted the student detail value so this is the input so this is the input we have so now output what we'll do select from student details star Comma. There is a function called lag, which gives you the previous row, previous row value. So here, total underscore marks over partition by student name or by year as previous marks. So here, if I run, try to run this. What is this here? Okay, it's total underscore marks. Total underscore marks and it's previous marks. So when I try to run this, so yeah, here if you see for Mohan, uh, that previous year marks in 2010 is null because we don't have 29, 20. Uh, 2009 years data, but for 2011 the previous year is 2010. So the previous marks is 70 and for 21 2012 the previous year marks is 65 which is 2011 uh, 2011 total marks similarly for Rahul and similarly for Sanjay So the question here is we need to calc we need to return the student name with and the total marks year and the previous marks which whose uh, which are uh, I mean the previous year, so, uh, this is the question, whose current year marks are greater than or equal to previous year marks. So now what I'll do, I'll try to write this where condition, where total marks is greater than or equal to the last year marks. So see the mistake what I'm doing here. So we should not write lag function over here and where condition it should always be in the select condition so if you see here and try to run this you'll get an issue because window functions can only appear in selected order by close so what i'll do i'll create a cte here with cte as this is the cte and select star from cte where I'll keep this where 
total marks greater than or equal to previous marks. So when I try to run this, this is the output you see. Mohan, total marks, here it is. In 2012, he has scored 19. In previous year marks, it is 265. And similarly, Rahul, for 2011, he has scored 90. Previous year is 90. And Sanjay, uh, 85 and 80. So this is the required output which you have got. So now this is simple. We have simply used the lag function. What if uh, in some, what if the interviewer asked to resolve this or solve this problem without using lag function? So interviewer will be impressed more if you do not use lag function and if you die, if you do simply uh, without any window functions and all. So now let's see how to get this without using window functions, without using window functions. So what I'll do, I hope you all are aware of self join. So student details, so student details is in a join student details d on s dot year minus one is equal to d dot year year. So now what I'll do, I'll just do a select star to see what's the values. So if you see, for Rahul, um, I'm joining the same table, but with, uh, <clears throat> so 2011 is uh, on the uh, left hand side, I'm just subtracting the year by one. So if it is 2011, then I'm joining with the same table on 2010. So since I have to join also with the name and student dot name. So S dot student name is equal to D dot student name. So after I join this, this is the output I see. So if you see 20 for Rahul uh, in 2011, um, he has scored 90 marks and 2010, he has scored 90 marks. So and in Sanjay, in 2011, he has scored 85, in 2010, he has scored 80. Mohan, in 2011, he has scored 65, in 2010, he has scored 60. Similarly, Rahul again. Comparison between 2012 and 2011. So now, again, now we need the data like whose current year marks are greater than or equal to the previous year marks. So, S dot total marks greater than or equal to D dot total marks. And what I'll do, instead of star, I'll write S dot name, S dot student name, comma, S dot year comma S dot total marks as current marks comma D dot total marks as previous marks. So this is the output and this is the query. So if you run simply here you'll see Rahul has in 2011 has code 90. And in previous year also he has scored 90. Sanjay, uh, so this is the output as you know, Rahul 90, 90, Sanjay 85, 2011, 80, 85, 2011, 80, and uh, Mohan 90, 2012, 65, 90, 2012, 65. So always try to use, uh, try to create a solution without using in uh, functions. So you need to, in an interview, you need to reduce the use of functions as much as possible so that interview will be, interviewer will be impressed. So subscribe to my channel and to get more videos. Thank you.